Greetings Portal Masters, it's Lou here from Activision with another Skylanders Battlecast Tips video. In this video, we're going to look at the different elements of card collecting. Each Battlecast card is associated with a type and a rarity tier. The four different types of cards are character, spell, relic, and gear. Character cards are needed to battle in Skylanders Battlecast. Before each battle, you'll select three characters to build a deck around. Spell cards can be used to smite your foes on the field of battle. Spells have a variety of effects, from causing attack damage to healing. Relic cards modify the rules of the game. Relics can change the battle dynamics and are set on the battlefield to cause a persistent effect while it's in play. They can be attacked directly to get rid of that effect. Lastly, there are gear cards. Equip gear to boost your Skylanders. Gear cards are equipped directly to your characters and buff that character in a variety of different ways. Next, there are four different rarity tiers. Common, Rare, Epic, and Ultimate. Common cards are denoted with a silver symbol on the bottom of the card. Common cards are easier to find in packs. Next, we have Rare cards. These cards have a blue symbol on the bottom and are a little harder to find in packs. Then there's Epic. Epic cards come with a purple symbol at the bottom and are very difficult to find in packs. Lastly, we have Ultimate cards, and these cards are denoted with a gold symbol. Ultimate cards are the hardest to come across in packs. All of the cards also come in silver and gold foil variants that give you leveled up versions of those cards when scanned into Skylanders Battlecast. When the game comes out, there will be 270 different cards to collect and trade with your friends. Thank you for watching, Portal Masters, and don't forget to check out the next video on the different modes in Skylanders Battlecast.